Let's get more on this now. We're joined by Rami Khoury, political analyst at the American University in Beirut. He's joining us live uh, from Beirut. Mr. Khoury, always good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So as we heard in that report, it's pretty unlikely that um, Israel can take Iran out of the equation in Syria. But do you think they can convince Russia to take on its strategic concerns? And what would that look like exactly? Well, it's unlikely that Israel is going to cause Russia to change anything significant in its Middle East policy. What Israel wants to do is probably several things. First of all, the whole Middle East power balance is being reconfigured, and, and Russia is a huge player now in the region. The United States is kind of reassessing some of its activities, political and diplomatic and, and military. The Iranians are stronger than ever because of their role in Syria and links to Hezbollah. The Turks are now playing a major role. And the Russians are involved in all of these situations, Turkey, Iran, uh, and Syria. And um, they're trying to get also closer to uh, Saudi Arabia and the Gulf. So what Israel is trying to do is be, uh, a, be a player in this regional reconfiguration indirectly through its links with the United States and the Russians, and possibly later uh, through the Turks. Uh, it's unlikely that Russia is going to significantly change Iranian behavior in Syria. Uh, Russia and Iran have bilateral relationships. They're interested in energy issues mutually. They're, they have defense relationships. Trade is an important issue. Uh, so they're probably, we're probably going to see some words from Russia that are comforting to the Israelis without any significant action. And, but the real point here is that the Iranians are not going to attack Israel. And Israel knows that. So nobody takes Iran, uh, Israeli uh, concerns that seriously about Isra uh, Israel being existentially threatened uh, by Iran. This is a political power game, and the Israelis are trying to jockey for position. And yet Netanyahu has said that there's an Iranian effort to become firmly established on a permanent basis in Syria, that there's a gradual attempt to open up a front against Israel on the Golan Heights. And you don't think that's what Iran's trying to do and that Israel has serious concerns about this? Oh, Israel has serious concerns, but they're pretty uh, exaggerated, and they use this uh, fear uh, to try to gain advantage with the U.S., with the Europeans, uh, with the uh, Russians. And also, Israel is trying to find out how it can make relations with Arab countries, Saudi Arabia and the Gulf and others, to counter Iran. None of these steps have gotten very far, mainly because people realize Israel is very, very strong. I mean, the Iranians would be ridiculously uh, irresponsible to, to attack Israel, because Israel has way more weapons than Iran does in terms of uh, delivery systems, nuclear weapons, etc. So the Israelis are exaggerating their vulnerability to gain political and uh, perhaps trade and other uh, advantages, which they've done very well in the United States, uh, and probably they'll do less well uh, in Russia. There's a third angle here, which is the Russians have been hinting that they'd like to play a role in Israeli-Palestinian political mediation. The Americans have not done well at all, and the Russians have signaled they're ready to host the Netanyahu uh, Abu Mazen meeting, uh, the Palestinian-Israeli leaders. That possibly may be uh, d discussed. And the, the, the wild card in this whole situation is nobody knows what is going to be the American policy in Syria on the Arab-Israeli talks. Uh, the Americans have proved erratic in their discussions with the Israelis. One time they say something about Jerusalem and yep. about settlements, and then they say something else. So uh, Netanyahu is being very careful, a good statesman, to position his country well, make sure that he's part of the mix of diplomatic reconfigurations yep. taking place. Third trip to Russia since September 2015, so he's really trying to make sure of that. Political analyst Rami Khoury joining us from Beirut. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.